Hi, I'm Amanda Burkowski here in Orlando, Florida at the ESPN Worldwide Center of Sports for the Under Armour All-America practices before the big game at the Camping World Stadium on Sunday. Let's check out our commits on the practice field where I first interviewed Ty Chan. First of all, congratulations on being here. Thank you, I appreciate it so much. How has your Under Armour All-America experience been so far? It's been great, you know, uh, playing with a good amount of level, high-level kids, it's, it's, it's really different than being at home and playing the kids in that league, you know? Just playing good comp and good kids and being able to like be on TV and all the above, it's, it's been a really big blessing for me. This is another TV opportunity for yeah. you. Um, so, for, so far, how have you learned any new like offensive lineman techniques, or is it more just about honing in on your skills you already had back then? Uh, I would definitely say it's a mixture of both, but I'd probably say more technique stuff. Um, personally, like with me, I'm not the most technical guy just yet, so that's what I want to work on at college. But Coach Wilson has been a great mentor for me uh, personally here, and I had an uh, opportunity to meet with him beforehand at the Future 50 camp last summer, and there he was teaching me a lot. So I'm just trying to soak in everything I can, especially playing against these players. They know a lot too. That's awesome. And why did you decide on ending up committing to Notre Dame? I decided Notre Dame back in December of last year because I love the staff and I love the people that ND represented and also the prestigious university that it brought forward to me. Uh, academics has always been like a very big part in my uh, commitment. Uh, so I really wanted to go to a school that put football as much as academics into one kind of piece. So that was a big thing in Notre Dame. And now with the whole coaching staff change, I mean, I still love everything and I'm very, very excited to be part of that family. We're so excited to have you as part of the first class of the Freeman era. Um, are you also looking forward with strength and conditioning? What do you think that's going to help you hone in on as a college? Um, I think it's going to hone uh, hone in on a lot of good things. Uh, coach Bayless is a really good coach, and just the way he like uh, represents himself is really good. He's a very uh, tough uh, guy, but also loving too. Like he'll show you the best techniques and the best ways, but he'll expect the most out of you too, which is the best part of it. Because I, I would want that too if I were a coach or a player. That's awesome to hear. And lastly, with New Year's coming, what was your best memory of 2021? Um, my, my best memory was probably, I'd probably say probably down here. Yeah, I mean, this this has been a really good opportunity, you know, and getting to see Steve and Jalen again in person. I had seen them both uh, at our visit uh, back in December, but it's, it's just good to see teammates and kind of get that bond started. And um, obviously they're early enrolling, but I'll be able to see them in June. So I'm excited for it. Well, we can't wait to have you in June. Great speaking with you. And here's Ty playing left guard in the All-America game, creating a nice hole for the running back. And here Ty demonstrates some excellent pass blocking. Ty was joined by other future ND teammates on the field. I'm here in Orlando, Florida with quarterback commit Stephen Jelly. So great to have you. Thank you. <laughs> First of all, congratulations on winning New Jersey State Championships. That was amazing. Yeah. I know that was one of your big goals for this year. But what are your goals for your next four years at Notre Dame? Uh, you know, to win a national championship, uh, you know, be in the playoffs, you know, just do everything I can to put Notre Dame in a great position to win and obviously win championships. We're excited to hear that Notre Dame fencing is 11 championships. You got 11 as well, so yep. hopefully we'll just keep amping up the championships together. Yep. Um, what precedent do you want to see as the first set of Freeman era freshmen this year? Uh, the first, you said the first set? You're the first like group of Freeman era yeah. freshmen coming in. What do you want to like set as your precedent as a new freshman group? Uh, you know, definitely that you know we're one of the hardest working groups there. Uh, you know, we're willing to put in the work, and you know we're great teammates, uh, leaders around campus, and you know just do the right thing in the weight room and on the field. We love to hear that. And then in college, do you think the mental or the physical aspect is going to be the most challenging or new thing for you? Uh, I think the mental. Uh, physically, you know, you, you can deal with that and figure it out. I just think mentally, a lot more people have trouble with that. So. That's the most important thing, uh, just getting your routine in and finding your way around. Awesome. I've heard in the past that you've described yourself as a leader. Can you give an example of what you've done with the Bergen Catholic team that's made you a leader and how you want to bring these skills to Notre Dame? So my sophomore year, we uh, finished with one of the worst records in, uh, in our history. You know, I, I was splitting time at the position. We finished 5-4, and four, lost first round in the playoffs, and 
my senior year, we go 12 and 0, finishing as the number three team in the country. So I think you know, there's not much I have to really say. I think it kind of shows for what we had to do and, and what I said I had to do, and I wouldn't have been able to do it without the guys around me. Uh, I had a great group of seniors, great coaches. Uh, went to a great school, and, and I was able to do that and, and accomplish that. And I think that goes to the speed about my leadership. Yeah, that's very impressive. I didn't know about you. the big turnaround for Bergen. That's yeah. amazing. Um, what have you found interesting or surprising about the Under Armour American Football Classic so far? Uh, you know, not so much interesting or surprising. I think you know, uh, you know, there's a lot of great people down here. So you know, being able to compete with them, uh, have a good time, and really just enjoy uh, my last high school football game before I get out to South Bend next week, and you know, just kind of close the next chapter, close this chapter uh, in my high school career, and, and finally uh, embark on my career in Notre Dame. Right. And here at the Under Armour Football Classic, you've had a whole new set of receivers. How We're on day three now. How has it been adjusting to the new feel of the receivers? It's been great. Uh, you know, the timing has come together, uh, the trust in, in them and for them to be in the right spot when I throw the ball. So I'm just having a good time, just playing around and, and just letting it rip. Awesome. And lastly, because it's almost New Year's, what's your best memory of 2021? Uh, probably signing and committing in Notre Dame. And well, also winning the state championship. So th those two. Those are two pretty amazing things for 2021. Well, thank you so much for being here, Steve. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Early in the game, Angeli threw a 40-yard touchdown pass, but sadly it was negated due to a penalty. Here's a good clip showing Angeli's arm strength, where he throws a rope to a 15-yard button hook pattern for a nice first down. And next, I spoke with MD commit Jalen Sneed. Well, I'm here in Orlando with Jalen Sneed. So great to have you here. Thank you. I know that you originally started talking to Marcus Freeman at Cincinnati, mm -hmm. and then he became Notre Dame's offensive lineman coach, and now he's the head coach. How do you feel about the changing of his coaching position? Uh, I feel like it's the best move for him, the best move for me, because me and him started that connection, and since he, as you said, we're just gonna, you know, we just continue to keep growing. And he's just a great coach. So glad to hear that. And as the first freshman class of the Freeman era, what precedent do you want to set? I want to set just we're hard-nosed football players, and Notre Dame's going to continue to win national championships. Love to hear it. Also, at the Under Armour All-American Games, I heard that your coach for your high school is actually one of the coaches here. How has that impacted your All-American experience? Uh, it hasn't really impacted me a lot, but. Uh, just being having someone to talk to, like on and off the field, like if I'm having a bad day or something like that, and he's always there just to pick me up and tell me that I'm, I can do better the next play, keep going, it's a great thing. It's great always to have that support with you. Yes, ma'am. And then also, are there been any surprises here for you at the All-American Games, or has it kind of been what you expected? Uh, it's been what I expected so far, but the guys are a lot bigger and stronger than I thought they were going to be. So, yeah. <laughs> As a follow-up, what do you think will be more difficult at the college level? Do you think the physical or the mental aspect will be kind of the most difficult? Uh, for me, definitely the mental because because football is like a game of men, like just mental, like checkers or chess. Like the physical part will come just with uh, strength training and just training in general. But like the mental part, you have to like study the game and just learn a lot about it. I love that analogy of mental and physical trust. That's awesome. And then, because it's New Year's, what was your best memory of 2021? Definitely when I committed to Notre Dame and seeing my, seeing my mom cry, tears of joy. This is like the happiest moment of my, of my life. That's absolutely precious. Well, thank you so much for being here with us. We really appreciate you having me. Thank you. Here's a clip of Jalen filling the hole and destroying the running back. Again, Jalen shows excellent ball tracking skills, filling the gap and assisting in the tackle. And that's it from the ESPN Worldwide Center of Sports. We can't wait to have all three commits at Notre Dame.